You're watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Karsh, sitting down now with Hiro Makino. He's managing director of the DC advisory team based in Tokyo. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Thank you for having me. What are Japanese companies interested in the American markets right now? Uh, so there is something what they call import, importing something new, you know, that's not uh, existing in Japanese market just yet. Uh, take example of uh, SoftBank. There, it's uh, importing strategies. You know, take everything, uh, uh, you know, that's more advanced, already uh, commercialized in the U.S. market or European market, and bring it to Japanese market. You know, there's a success, uh, proof of success. The American economy is somewhat stalling at the moment. Does that have an impact on what Japanese businesses would like to invest in? Yes, I think uh, <clears throat> also with the uh, uh, addition of weaker Japanese yen, I think that makes a uh, little uh, uncomfortable for the Japanese companies just, just at the time uh, to uh, go and buy U.S. companies or European companies. There are a lot of things that are impacting the American economy right now. Um, do you get a sense from your clients that there is going to be a lot of activity towards the end of 2022 and moving into 2023? Or um, are people, again, waiting and seeing? Yeah, I, I, I'd like to uh, say uh, the former would be the case. But uh, to be honest, I think it's more like a wait and, uh, wait and see. Uh, I, I'm really hoping that, uh, you know, there is, you know, certain uncertainties at the moment, but uh, I think it's not going to be uh, the lasting uh, situation. And hopefully uh, towards the end of uh, this year, uh, we'll be seeing more uh, uh, aggressive Japanese companies looking to uh, do acquisitions in the U.S. When your companies are aggressive, you know, going forward before, um, before COVID, very a large figure, there's lofty valuations. Yeah. Um, do you sense that that's going to be the case going forward, um, that, that the Japanese investors or clients that you're working with are really going to push the numbers higher um, and really stretch themselves to yeah. acquire those companies? I really like to believe so. Um, I mean, there's a, a, a fundamental background reason for that, you know, the Japanese uh, uh, market, Japanese society is uh, aging and shrinking and the market is not going to get any bigger. Uh, or there's, of course, uh, introduction of new technologies, which might, uh, you know, change uh, the dynamic. But uh, whether you're in general industrials or uh, technologies or services or IT you know, space, you have to seek opportunities outside of Japan. That's a fundamental background of uh, you know, most Japanese companies looking to do acquisitions outside of uh, Japan. Well, hopefully there are more acquisitions on the horizon. Thank you so much, Hiro. Thank you very much. Thank you.